great to do a Mozart opera because it's beautiful music, incredible melodies. Mozart is the composer of a soul. We have love, we have passion, we have seduction. Anger, jealousy, sex. He's genius. He's genius and we have to accept it. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Richard. It's a story about a man who has seduced 2,065 women, but on the morning of one of his conquests, he gets stopped by the father of this woman he's just seduced, and in the ensuing fight, he kills him. And from then on, it's all downhill. Don Giovanni is young, spoiled, rich, crazy, full of energy, very intelligent, and also not responsible, looking for things which are basically impossible to find. Don Anna is victimized by Don Giovanni, arguably, in the beginning. In this production, she's completely consensual, which I like. But I think it's complicated, the relationship with Giovanni, because obviously he murdered her father. That's a problem. <laughs> also, she's so strong that she's the only woman to defy Don Giovanni, to represent the resistance against him. Being the biggest seducer in the world, he's very unsuccessful with women. That's a sad conclusion. But I think the closest woman for him in his life is Donna Elvira. <laughs> Donna Elvira, she's a victim of love. She thinks that he really loves her because I think they had really something special. He always calls uh, to her, idol mio, amor mio, but uh, for him, it's not love. For him, it's only sex, 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 sex. Leporello is the servant of Don Giovanni. He really enjoy the life uh, with him because, you know, uh, it's an adventure. I think it's a spicy life. I think Leporello is the soul of Don Giovanni, the, the good part of Don Giovanni, because, you know, he tried to keep him in the right way, but uh, never happened because Giovanni continued his kind of uh, life until the end. We have turned the stage into a version of Don Giovanni's mind, a complex, ever-changing set. It's almost as if we enter his mind as the girls that he seduced to. Because we're projection mapping over the entire sculpture at all times, sometimes you're not quite sure whether a wall is really moving or a projected door is moving. We have to fix also where I'm coming from, because I open one door and then I've seen the second door. So I opened the second door and it was a third door. It's both a tragedy and it's a comedy, a fast that needs to move fast and be funny. The end of this opera is not so funny. The end is like punishment for my bad behavior. In Don Giovanni, you always need 100% of energy, and you have to be well fit, you have to be looking good, you have to be full of those, this, this sparkle. Mozart is really an incredible stage director, composer, and that's why Don Giovanni is probably one of the most famous operas of all times. It's timeless. You have everything you know about human passions from the past and from today. In this production, we've got great singing, great acting, pleasant to watch, pleasant to listen, so enjoy. <laughs>